Now this is going to be a di little bit different. So this is amateur porn star killers too. Now normally I talk about it for a couple minutes, go into the DVD, bash it, review it sucks, and that's it. But I'm not going to do this one. No, not because it's good, because it's fucking horrible. It's because it is made by Cinema Epoch. The same brain dead morons. Sorry, Peter Jackson. Who did CJ and Ryan. Now, there's no point on me doing a normal review because they would just bitch whine and cry over copyright infringement. So, do not see this movie at all. It is fucking horrible. The camera work is mind-boggling. Okay, the, the camera work, this is what the camera work is like. Remember when you were like six, and your dad would film all like, when you went camping or to fucking Wonderland or something, and you'd bring it home, and the camera would be shaking like this, and it'd make you so dizzy you go in the bathroom and puke? Yeah, that's what it is. It's your dad filming the goddamn thing. It's at the opening scene, like any shitty movie, an opening scene is supposed to hook you in, drag you in, give me something. No, it doesn't. It's so goddamn boring you want to pull your fucking eyes out. So, and you know what? This is a first. This is an actual first. I, I couldn't take it. I... I couldn't take it. I couldn't fucking take it. I had to turn it off. That's how bad it is. I couldn't get through it. Couldn't get through it. I was at work. Watched. It. I watched. It. I got about half an hour into it, and it's it's so goddamn bad. I. That's it. Avoid this movie at all costs. But you know what the good thing is? Cinema Epoch. I didn't pay a fucking cent. I fucking bootlegged it. Fuck you. So, the plot of this piece of shit. Amateur Porn Star Killer 2 is not a sequel as much as it is a dark continuation of director slash star Shane Ryan's ultra-realistic vision of artistic snuff. Yeah, would you get your dad to fucking film it? There is no young female this time, though the woman you will be watching is smart. No, she's not. She fights back. No, she doesn't. And she does not go quietly into death. In the first film, Disturb... If the first film disturbed you, and it should have, be assured this one will leave you feeling worse. Yeah, it'll leave me feeling fucking sick and throwing up all over it. Going where few films would dare because it's so goddamn bad, no one would even think of going this. APSK, oh that's clever. Two, sticks you not because it's a gore fest, which it isn't. This is what would happen. This is how it would look. When it comes to this film, you aren't a viewer, you're a witness. Yeah, I'm a witness of the probably one of the worst fucking movies ever made. Prepare yourself, this is going to leave marks. Yes, it's going to leave marks, fucking scars. So overall, none. Not a cent. Not a star, not a half a star, not a skull, not a machete, not a butter knife, not a fork, not a spoon. Nothing. And it's only 80 minutes. Avoid at all costs. Don't even let your worst enemy see this movie. Fuck you, Cinematic Book.